hey, I'm going to run you down how to make some quick changes to the site, uh, making it really easy for you. So the first thing we're going to do is log into your hosting account at GoDaddy. That was the hosting account, not the, not the domain account. Uh, once you get in there, it's going to look something like this. Um, and uh, it'll have your file manager, your cPanel, with all your icons. Um, file manager is right here, really simple. And once you get in there, you're going to have a bunch of files. Um, the first file we're going to talk about is index. You're going to go here and edit. This is how your page is crafted. So everything on the front page will actually have words in it. And if you were to search for those words, you could easily find it here. So say you're wanting to change the work currently working on something great. I would come in here. I press Control F on a PC, and uh, we're currently, and it instantly highlights the text on the page. So I mean, if I were to change this text, that's all I have to change to actually change that line. And someone with all the text on this page. So that's going to cover that. I to change the logo. It's going to be the same thing. The logo is always called logo PNG. So if you were to upload the logo PNG in your images folder over this logo, we can easily change it. Now I'm going to do it for you, but just to give you an explanation on how that would work is I'm here in the file manager. I'm looking at my index file. If I go to display files, then images, I can see that I have a logo PNG here. So anytime I replace this logo PNG, that's going to replace the logo PNG that I have here. Now you didn't really ask for the logo PNG. You wanted to know the, um, what I did here was I just went back to the base, the public HTML, the, this is my base folder. I'm going to remove this one. We don't need it indexed to. Uh, so I have these two files and a CGI bin. <clears throat> Remember, I want to start you back from the beginning. If I was here, I would click on File Manager. I see these two files. This is uh, my index, my main file, and then this is a folder you can see here. So to change out the timer, we go to Display Files, we go to Java.js, and then I go right here to the config. Uh, right click and then Edit, or I can always click it once and then choose Edit from the top here. When this opens up, I click Edit. And this is the configurations for that. Really simple. So here's the date. Here's July. Here's the 31st. Here's the actual seconds and minutes if I want those. And uh, some of these other styles are just things that, that are used on your form. So like we used uh, black for the number colors. We used white on the, you know, and uh, you really don't need that. So if you're editing some of the, um, the numbers here, the date, as well as this day here, is all adjusted by whatever you put here. And one more time, now it's File Manager, Display Files, JS, and then Config, we want to edit. So that'll cover your timer. Then I think the last thing was the background, which is the same setup. So remember, we're coming to this main folder, public HTML, or if you were to come in here, you see your two main files. This one's a little bit different. So you go to display files, you go to slideshow, and your image one is the actual uh, background. So how do we do this? Well, first thing I do is I create a file called image01.jpg. Um, really easy there. As soon as I have that file, I throw it in here. It'll save over this file. Basically, I just upload, browse, I find the file from my computer called image01.jpg and as soon as I upload it, it'll ask me if I want to overwrite this file. I do want to overwrite this file, you'll click yes, you're done. 